I'm back, return of the mech. One of the mini mechs is sick. Not seriously, I feel a little bit queasy too. You know what's gonna sort me out? A Cuban sandwich. back mechaneers apologies for the delay broken mic sick child all that kind of stuff that conspires against me but i'm here to try a cuban sandwich had never heard of a cuban sandwich before starting these mech eats america videos not something that i was familiar with at all before we get on to eating the thing let's look at what i found out about a cuban sandwich <laughs> The Cuban sandwich probably originated in cafes catering to Cuban workers in Tampa or Key West. Later, it was brought to Miami, where it is also very popular. The Cuban sandwich is made with ham, mojo, roast pork, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard on Cuban bread. Tampa has a large Italian population, so they like to add salami to their Cuban sandwiches. I've often said that if I ended up on death row, I hope I don't, and they asked me what my last meal would be, I would say a ham and cheese toasted sandwich with a really good cup of coffee next to it. I love ham and cheese toasted sandwiches, they're amazing. Even rubbish ones are quite good. So the Cuban sandwich is a variation on a ham and cheese toasty, really. So I think I'm gonna like this. As always, when I make food, there are some caveats depending on what ingredients I can get hold of. So let's head over to Caveat Corner. I am not making a real Cuban sandwich. I'm saving you the comments where people write, that's not a Cuban sandwich. I know it's not everyone, I know. I'm not in Cuba or Florida, Tampa. I don't have the proper ingredients, but I've done pretty well, I think. I found some soft, long subtype rolls, which are more like baguette than a sub roll, and I think they're pretty close. I wish I'd found them for my Philly cheesesteak video, because they would've been better than the panini bread that I got in the end, so that's good. I've got some nice dill pickles. I bought them online, so they came in a kind of plastic tub. What I did not realize is that they have not been sliced lengthways along the pickle as they should be in a Cuban sandwich. They've been cut in discs. Fail. I, of course, haven't got the Cuban mojo, the roasted pork. I hope I'm saying that right. Apologies if I didn't. I did find a recipe to make the Cuban roasted pork, but I just thought life is too short. I can't make literally everything in my videos, like the chair I'm sitting on. I'm not a carpenter. I'll just buy a pre-made one. So what I did buy was I bought a pork joint, which had already, it, it had herbs and spices on top. Probably not the correct ones for the Cuban one, but it was some simple herbs and spices. I roasted it, I've cut it thinly. It's not exactly right, but it's pretty well as close as I could get. So I think we're gonna be okay for that. I've got some honey roast ham, I've got some Swiss cheese, mustard. I'm gonna press the sandwich like a panini. I don't have a panini press, so I'm gonna use two heavy pans. You'll see, we'll make it work. It's fine. That's all the nonsense out of the way. Let's get in the kitchen and make this thing. Let's go. got it here it was quite fun to make the roll was not wide enough I could see that straight away it was far too thin so it was quite hard to keep everything in there whilst I was cooking don't have a proper panini press and it was very hard to film what I was doing so I hope you got the idea of what I did there basically did it in a frying pan and then put a nice heavy cast iron frying pan on top to kind of push it down flipped it over had butter on the outside or at least in the pan for both sides I eventually got here, this flipping Cuban sandwich has been, the ingredients have been sat in my fridge for about a week and a half. I was really worried that like the pork would start to go dry and horrible. So, 
So I got it now, I got it, here it is. A Cuban sandwich, a Cubanos, slightly caught on top. I'm still working with my cruddy temporary hob in the temporary kitchen, so I mean, it's rubbish, it cost me no money at all. So it's quite hard to get a decent cooking thing going. Okay, Cuban sandwich. Let's do it and let's get a bite with all the stuff. Mm. Sorry, that was quite a big bite because I was trying to get everything. It's far too much in my mouth. The roast pork immediately marks it out as something different other than a cheese and ham sandwich. I'm quite surprised what an effect it has to this sandwich. It's really nice. It just makes makes gives gives the sandwich a, a more chewy mouthfeel. Really interesting. I like that a lot. Now, of course, the pork. If I had the proper Cuban pork, the roasted pork, I'm sure the flavour would be out of this world. This is fairly bland with a little bit of spice. That's about it. So. Already, I could tell that the proper Cuban sandwich would be would be much better than this. I was worried about there being no tomato and lettuce to kind of fresh it up, but the pickles do that job. You don't need anything else in there. Just those pickles. It gives it a tangy freshness to combat the meat. And it works really well. It's really interesting. In a good way, it's really tasty. Sorry, I know a couple of people have said that it's really horrible having the mic right there when I'm eating and you just hear all the noises. I do appreciate that, but it's the only mic I've got at the moment. That's for you, all you ASMR people. Scoring the Cubanos, the Cuban sandwich. Um, okay, let's go through the three criteria. Appeal, up there. I mean, it's a beautiful looking sandwich with green pickles sticking out, the melted cheese, the two meats. The appeal is through the roof, perfect. Ease of making, N not too bad. If you had a bigger roll, which I didn't, and a sort of panini press would be a lot easier than what I did. So ease of use, pretty good. Middling to high, I would say. So we'll, good start for the first two categories. Taste, really nice. Very, very nice. Simple, but effective. And as I said, with the proper pork, it would be fantastic. So all in all, pretty good, actually. A Cuban sandwich. I don't know why I keep saying Cuban sandwich, but I will keep saying Cuban sandwich. Um, so scoring out of 100 for Cuban sandwich. Once more, I haven't looked at the scoreboard. I haven't reminded myself where things sit. So I'm just pulling this out of the bag. A Cuban sandwich. It's in the 70s. It's in the 70s for me. I hope in the decade. I'm going to go for where in the 70s again? Say hi, hola, hey, go middling. I'm going to go 75 mech points for the Cuban sandwich. <laughs> I don't know where that puts it on the scoreboard. So let's now have a look at the scoreboard and see where we are. You can see there that Cuban Sandwich has gone in at 10th place. I don't know why I have 11 foods on my scoreboard, not entirely sure about that, but it has knocked PB&J off the scoreboard. The American Classic has gone. Mm, I'm sad about that because it was a great sandwich. I really enjoyed it, but I didn't love it and I wouldn't eat it again probably, so that's gone. Buffalo chicken wings, biscuits and gravy, corn dogs are still flying the flag for American food right up the top. So there we have it, Cuban sandwich. Keep an eye on the community tab for what I am doing next week. So I hope I keep the Cuban sandwich down. <laughs> we'll wait and see how things pan out. But thank you for joining me. Sorry for the delay in posting this video. Shoddy service from your captain. Love you guys. Take care. Captain Mech, out.